What's up guys? Today I'm going to do a review on um, the Kaizen, the Kendama USA Zebrano Wood Kaizen. Um, this is it right here. This is an interesting wood. This uh, this wood's a hardwood. It plays good. The, the Everything about the wood itself is perfect. The, uh, the Zebrano Wood is um, from the, uh, the Micro Berlinia tree which is found in Central Africa. Um, you can also find the tree in Brazil, but it goes by a different name in Brazil. But uh, the, the wood itself is just amazing. The grain, the reason, it's also called zebra wood in like the woodworking industry, but uh, it, the like a nickname for it is zebrano wood. And that's that's why they call it that. I mean, you can you can see the, the dark stripes on the light brown with the, with the really dark brown stripes. Look right here in the kin, you can see the uh, you can just really see the details. These come from the factory lightly oiled. You will not feel it. It's just for protection and to, to help uh, enhance the wood. But overall, the, the like I've already, I've only had it two weeks and the oil's wore off down here and it's still beautiful. Um, the the kin itself, the shape of, of the Kaizen kin uh, to me, I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've heard someone, some people say, well the spike's too short. You know, and it, and I have trouble getting the ball on there. That ball sits on there great. I mean, it sits on there great. Um, when you get, when you first buy a Kaizen model from Kendama USA, the um, the 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 cross piece or the serrata is gonna sit a little higher than normal, but not. It's not too high. And if you don't like it, just work it down a little bit. Take it off. Work it down. I promise you, the first time you change your strings it'll be in the perfect spot but these these kendamas are they're jam up the zebrano wood is an amazing kendama i'm actually gonna buy another one and this is a just a straight raw zebrano wood i'm gonna buy another one and get me a um uh probably like a rubberized tama to put on it and have that for a jam i'd love to have this with a white tacky tama if I could get the weights right, keep it around 65 grams to where it balances out really well, that would just be the best setup I could think of. Like I would love to get it, maybe a maple tama, but um, I don't know, like a, a pearl white or maybe a um, maybe even a silk white. I seen a girl on Instagram had a, had this exact setup, a zebrano wood with a with a white tama, and it looked oh my god, it looked amazing. She was playing in the snow, and um, she's in Poland. And it was just jam up, and I wish I could remember her name. You could go follow her because she's a great kendama player. She's really cool. Um, anyway, so the shape of the kin is great. The tama on the kaizen models. This is on every model kaizen you get. It's gonna have a bevel that is just ridiculous. It is perfect. Any more bevel would be way too much because you would you would spike the bevel, and it would just cause the kin to flip out when you hit your spike. So it wouldn't actually guide it in; it would become a wall. But on the Kaizen, <clears throat> they took it just to the point to where it's perfect to guide the to guide the kin in. I don't know if you notice sometimes when you don't have a lot of bevel. For instance, on um, on sweets. Let's see if I got can get this sweets out here for you. On sweets, their um their bevels are kind of. To me, they're not enough bevel. I mean, they're enough to play. They're great kendamas, but to me, I, I prefer more of a bevel. Okay, so you can see that that one's got a, like a steep uh, bevel to it, and you can see the difference. Wow. You can see the difference in the bevels. So that makes a huge difference when you're trying to catch, especially after your tip is like flat. So when you're, when you're trying to catch it, it just it doesn't help to have a no bevel or uh, the lack of anyway. So, what you you know, the the bevel's a big deal. It's got a nice big bevel on these Kaizens. And another thing on the bevel, when you've been playing it for a couple of weeks, like, and you've missed it a few times, you come close and it's just kind of rolled in the hole like that, like just kind of grazed the bevel. It'll start to roll that bevel. You notice how the bevel is actually kind of steeper on one side because that's you know the the kin hitting it and actually causing a mushroom. You can feel a little lip around the hole, okay? With the Kaizen model, um, the uh, the hole still does that, but you have a lot more bevel to work with. So when it does that, it doesn't affect the actual bevel of the Tama. So you still get a lot of play out of it, and you don't have to worry about 
the bevel getting smaller or more closed up or anything like that. So that's another good thing. Um, the balance on these is ridiculous. Um, I was afraid when I read up on them. You know, they um, they said that the Kaizen model, the Kaizen shape, uh, they had the, the Serata sit, sitting up a little higher. So I was worried about that. I'm like, well, and it's designed to, to float its way down, to sink its way down onto the, onto the spike as you use it so you get more use out of it and you don't get that um you ever had one that gets wore out and like the the kin is just like all bottled up and you can't get your hands on it because it's all slid down that doesn't happen near as fast on these if at all especially on the zebrano wood and the the paddock and all your hardwoods you're not going to see that near as much because of the um the hardwood doesn't allow it to wear out like that as fast the uh the Zebrano wood is also a threatened species right now because of its popularity, because of its grain. They realize that it polishes up really well in the furniture furniture industry and in the um, kendama industry. I've seen it in uh, pen making. Uh, wood turning process is great. They turn great on lathes, so the wood's becoming really popular. So in other words, it won't be long. Most likely, you're not going to be able to get a Zebrano wood kendama for the fact that they're gonna outlaw cutting them down for who knows 10 years or so or more because of the the lack of the lack of wood when it becomes threatened it's threatened right now when it becomes rare that's when they'll stop production of zebrano wood or zebra wood or the, the macro Berlinia, Berlinia tree in Africa also in Brazil so go get one of these they play great they're very durable they um the balance is ridiculous because of the shape and the wood uh, on mine on this natty it just weighs out really nicely I've got to get a scale in here for these reviews so you'll know I can show you the weights when they come how accurate they are this one's actually around 65 grams and it plays great and I know it's 65 because I got some I've got some kendamas that weigh exactly 65 grams and that's like 65 to 68 is perfect for me um, that's what I like. Um, it's a little on the heavy side, I think, for most people. But for me, I like I like a lot of weight with my kendama because if I feel like I work at a shipyard and I lift steel and I work with heavy stuff all day, so if I get something real light in my hand, I'm kind of clumsy with it. So it takes me a while to get used to it. With with a heavier kendama, a 65 ground, e even upper 70s. You know, I've played upper 70s. Like I had a grain theory that was like 76 grams. Oh my god, that thing slayed so good. It was a beast. And I just, like an idiot, I sold it to some guy that kept bugging me about it. But anyway, plays great. Comes stock with a, um, Ken, with a uh, Kendama USA black string. Like, uh, let's see. Which is what I prefer. If anybody knows me or listens to me at all, you know that this is my favorite. Favorite string, Kendama USA. These are like a dollar um, or so. I don't know. I know I've seen them for cheaper, but a dollar is a good price for this string. It goes, it works great, and it, it's a good solid, you know, it's not a silk string, but it's not a cord. It, it feels really good. It's a good feeling string. The uh, the white Kingdom USA, which I have on this yellow Azora, is a good string too, but it don't play as good as the black to me. I know that sounds crazy, but it don't. It, it does not play the same. So um, if you don't believe me, get a white and a and a black one and try them. I promise you, the black one's gonna play better. So anyway, it's kind of like the yellow string and yo-yo strings. You know, when I play, I used to play a lot of yo-yo. I actually had a show on this on YouTube called Yo-Yo Recap. I used to play around with. But anyway, the um, the yellow string just plays better than the colored string. As as weird as that sounds, I promise you. It'll blow your mind. How, I, I guess because maybe you can see it better or something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, that's that. The, the Zebrano wood is a go, man. They're like 50 bucks, 45 bucks, I think. I guess I could pull it up. But anyway, kendamausa.com. Uh, click Kaizen models and they'll pull up all the Kaizen models. Any wood you want. I haven't got them all. But the, the, the Kendama USA, Kaizen, Zebrano is amazing. It plays great. It feels great, it looks great, sounds good. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with this one. Get it. Setting up Sunday, watching the winter grow.